let's start with what you did before. Yeah. So before you got into the ad agency <laughs> world, what were you doing? I was hustling on uh, Craigslist. I used, to, I used to flip jerseys, and so after that, I started doing some more like legit white collar stuff, like actually detailing cars, mm -hmm. and uh, did that and made about like three to four hundred dollars um, a day in some great days. And then from there, um, I got a full time job as a customer service rep. They wanted me to learn like Google AdWords, and then I then learned a little bit about it, then figured out maybe I could actually use this uh, and get more clients and post my ads on Craigslist for my PPC right. services. So that's kind of how it, like, it all started. Cool. All right. Does it work? Yeah. All right. So we are about to go in and have lunch with some people on the board of advisors for Cal State Fullerton's business school. That's where I went to school. That's where you went to school. But we neither of us went to the actual business side, right? So they found me and... Um, and wanted to potentially recruit me. Follow me. Um, so obviously, I wanted you two to meet because Jay is the uh, the brainchild behind the Center for Leadership. Cool. Um, and Jay actually recruited me. Rosh, I came to you and we met, and then I went wanted, dark. You, yeah, you found me <laughs> and, and wanted to find out ways you could be more involved. Yeah, I'll just I'll just email you when I get back, and we can kind of move forward. Me. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. Good well, seeing you. Let me do that again. Sorry. <laughs> so, Stone and I, the guy filming behind the camera that you don't get to see as much, um, we we both came from the same school. I think you and I can both agree that there's a lot of different people who went to Cal State Fullerton, who of course are succeeding in life, and by succeeding, I mean like they're they're hitting whatever their goals are, they're making progress in life and things like that. Did you know that James Cameron, the director of Titanic, went to Cal State Fullerton? And then there's a lot of them that, you know, just kind of go back to, to, to nothing or they just kind of don't, they don't push themselves. And I think one thing that's really important is, and, and you can see that with the people that we have on our team right now, their experience didn't really matter where they came from, their resume, their previous agency, or, or the school that they attended has no bearing on like how they're going to do in the future and so i think a lot of people are afraid that like history will repeat itself but i don't i don't i have not seen any proof myself from any of the companies that we've seen explode and do very well to ones that had a great idea but then just poor execution it had nothing to do with where they came from it had nothing to do with their upbringing you're you're from the philippines i'm from denmark uh, we have people who are from all parts of different places. Some people are from, you know, they live next to In-N-Out Burger and it, it doesn't matter. Like it's, it, it, it doesn't show anything. So I, you should keep that in mind is that the only thing that you can really control is like your next step and the things that you're doing after that. And so if you don't worry too much about planning or, or seeing all these things that are just hurdles before you get to your goal and you just take one, one hurdle at a time, you'll quickly find that what you've done in the past has no bearing to what you can do in the future. Like I was, I was detailing and washing cars on Craigslist um, and I think I can do even greater than what I'm doing now. But again, we're just, it's progress we're making and that's all that matters. So, you know, think about that as you think of whatever you wanna do. Um, and I don't wanna make this cheesy or motivational or anything like that, but there is literally only you holding your back and it's all about your excuses that are preventing you from taking the next step. That's as simple as it is. Hi, I'm Tiff. I'm a CRO designer here at Client Boost and I graduated from Cal Poly Pomona. Uh, with a graphic design degree, but right out of college, I did not start out with a graphic design job. I was actually a spa receptionist. Hi, I'm Michael Dunsterville. I'm the lead production artist here at Client Boost. First started out at uh, going to school at Reno. Went there for about a year, and then I actually dropped out. My name's Jason Smith. I am lead brand designer here. I don't actually have any 
formal training in what I do. I'm about 90% self-taught. Before that, I, before this role, um, and prior to becoming a designer, um, I was in fact uh, in construction. Hi, I'm Liz. I'm a CRO designer at Client Boost. I'm actually self-taught. I didn't go to school. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, I used to be a dog trainer and a tattoo artist, so have an interesting career background. So. Hi guys. So I'm Mallory. I work here at Client Boost as a PPC account manager. Um, a little bit about me is that this is my first job that I'm actually not doing what I studied in school. Um, I studied graphic design at Kansas State. My name is Kim Fitkin. I am the VP of Client Services here. When I was in college, that's when I actually started working at Express. So retail, retail is something else. So, but I've always said to people that you should do retail as a job before you get into any other job because it gives you a backbone those customers are insane. I'm Allie, I'm an account manager at Client Boost. I went to the University of Texas, you hook them, and I studied kinesiology to be a physical therapist. So then I graduated college and I worked for a lawn care company. Uh, my name is Graham Honor, I'm what, are, <laughs> what questions? And I went to University of Missouri and and studied marketing so I'm one of the few that actually uh, did marketing in school yeah so I did deliver sandwiches in college and it was like the the late night sandwich place so be there till 3 or 4 a.m. on on weekend nights and people would see uh, the topper on my car and they would think I was a taxi so I'd end up just giving people rides home all night and actually made more money doing that than doing and delivering the sandwiches, but it was a pretty cool job. You got to see a lot. Hi, I'm Melissa Orlana. People here call me Missy, so I go by. Um, I work here as an account manager at Client Boost, um, but I graduated from both Mount Sac and uh, Cal State Fullerton. And at Mount Sac, I was actually studying originally to be in radio and television. Prior to that, I was actually studying to be a veterinarian. 